Westboro Baptist Church, like any organization, has individuals who like doing some things better than other things. Sometimes it depends on talent, sometimes it's just preference. Like I mentioned in a prior talk, Benjamin Phelps really likes the computer stuff. So that seems to be his niche in the organization. Steve Drain is a video maker. I'm not certain to what extent he is responsible for all the video stuff. I just know that's his talent, or at least one of them. I believe of all the members of Westboro Baptist Church, at least from what I see on the YouTube videos, Margie Phelps likes to picket soldiers' funerals and go after the military more than any other. You may often think that Shirley is the most intense one. She is indeed intense. But if you've ever heard Margie bellow at one of those soldiers' funerals, it's something else. She seems to have a special distaste for the soldiers. I don't know how they decide who gets to do which sign movie. They seem to evenly space it out some as you see virtually all of them represented in one sign movie or another. Interestingly, the sign movie about the soldiers, one of them, was done by Margie Phelps. Did she request that, or was it arbitrarily assigned? I don't know for sure, but it seems likely. Interestingly, in one of the videos about the Patriot Guard, Margie, Benjamin Phelps, and Rebecca Phelps Roper were picketing some soldier's funeral on the highway. And the Patriot Guard was there in response and they were blocking them. Benjamin Phelps and Rebecca Phelps Roper weren't interacting from what I saw with the Patriot Guard. They were holding up their signs, doing their thing. But Marjorie really got into it she was saying things like, you couldn't win Vietnam and you're still pissed about it. She was wearing a Marine shirt and they got a lot of comments on the YouTube video about this. One dude said that he wanted to kick her ass and then I said, big man, you beat up women? And his response was, she's not acting ladylike. It sounds like a pretty terrible rationalization. It sounds like Westboro Baptist Church is winning because it seems like their objective is to broke people. And Margie seems to love to revoke the soldiers. Of course, I can't say for certain this is a hypothesis. And it may be disproven. But from my vantage point right now, she doesn't seem to like the soldiers more so than any other. I've seen her in other forums talking about Jews and she doesn't seem to get quite as intense. She's a bellower. In that video also somebody joked that she was attractive. One person responded to me and saying, I feel sorry for ever who, whoever is her husband. I said, she's not married. So guess what, guys? If you find her attractive, she's not married. Maybe, maybe, maybe we could say the way a person acts on a protest grounds is the way they act in the bedroom. If somebody is really full of energy on the protest grounds, they might be that way in the bedroom. Some people 
through the comments tell me that I have a crush on Megan Phelps Roper. Interestingly, I don't think there's very many interesting celebrities, so I'm not into most celebrity women that all these guys have crushes on. Technically, I wouldn't ever want to have a relationship with one of those Westboro women, and it's surely not because of attractiveness. They're very attractive women. They're babes, to be sure. It's because they're dysfunctional. I pride myself on having standards. I pride myself on not fucking every woman who walks. If they weren't so dysfunctional, if they removed that baggage, then we could be talking. If they can remove that baggage, then all you guys can go for Margie because I'd rather have one of the 20 something women they have. Margie Phelps seems to really love goading soldiers and rubbing salt into their wounds. <laughs>